So this is where we are all failing. There is no sink between the body and the mind. So we need to do it. And we need to work on it. Why? Because we want to be healthy. First of all, the basic. But otherwise, we need to hear the unstuck sound. We want to hear that soundless sound at some point of time. Right now, we can't hear it. Because again, as you say, too much we are stuck with the body and the mind. Too much. So how do we unentangle ourselves <laughs> from the body and the mind? We, are, we need to get involved as we ended the last session. We need to involve and not entangle. This is a challenge. Because when we say unentangle, that means your own identity also gets kind of broken with that. Because like I said, Mother Teresa are doing for everybody. She does not say, this is my son, this is my daughter, this is my... She, for her, everybody is a human being. We have to look at everybody like that to be able to reach that state. Right now, that's why I took up the question for adoption. We are not able to. Mera... That Mira is the cause for our suffering. So if we, exp we actually expand, okay, and feel everybody is mine, everybody is same, then we won't have so much suffering. Because there is no limited people in our life. There are so many people, so much to do. So then you're not stuck anywhere. So we need to step out of the comfort zone. We like uh, where we are. We like to be stuck in our typical office, typical uh, workplace, you know, and typical family. So that if I step out, there is more risk. So I am sick in the cocoon. So let me be here. So this is a comfort zone. So when a master comes, he's going to break. Break it open for you. And you're not going to like it. We're not going to like it. So that's where uh, we start resisting. We feel, no, 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 no. I'll do this much. No, 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 no. This is enough. You know, I have to take care of my family also now. So, but where did the master or anybody tell, even Krishna tells that you leave your, Krishna himself had a family. <laughs> Krishna is married. Arjuna is married. And he's advising. See, there is no connection with the marriage and all these things with what we are supposed to do in life. That's two different things. All that you are supposed to do in your life is find out who you are. That's all. And for that, no family is going to actually come as an obstacle for you. They won't. We only make the family an obstacle in our own journey and we use the family because we are afraid. What will happen if I know myself? Will I die? What will happen? Will I change? Suddenly, will my relatives will not be my relatives? Will I feel distance from my child? These fears come. Nothing of this thought happens actually. Everything continues the same way. Yet you feel better because somewhere you have distanced yours from the role, not from the people. You can be more close to the people. Doesn't matter anymore. But you have distanced yourself from all the roles. And understood that the roles are to be played. I am not the role. Very important to understand that I am not the role. Right now, what are we stuck with? Our roles. Why is Dhritarashtra so worried? Because he is a king. He doesn't want to lose anything. Why is Duryodhana behaving like this? Greed, jealousy. And now how Arjuna is going to behave? <laughs> he is going to go completely haywire, completely different, on a different track altogether. But we need to understand what he feels also. 
But first of all, we need to understand that through the journey of transformation that we have taken up, okay, this is not easy. But if you really want to get into the role, you know, actual place where you want to transform, then you will have to take the beating, <laughs> technically. See, now there is a story I'll tell you. Uh, there is a beautiful marble statue and uh, it's placed in a beautiful hall with beautiful marble tiles. Okay. Now people every day come look at the statue, take pictures and all that stuff and, do, and they go. Now one night, the marble tile starts speaking to the marble statue. Okay. And says, it's not fair. Everybody comes, steps on me and then they stand next to you and take pictures and they praise you, they touch you and you know, they, they just adore you. But it's not fair. No? They stamp on me and they reach you. So then the marble statue says, see my dear, we are bo both of them are from the same material, from the same factory, from the same place. So then uh, the marble tile says, that's why I know, that's why I'm upset. We both come from the same place and I am stepped on, stamped on, whereas you are in a, such a beautiful statue and adored. So then the statue reminds, when the sculptor had come and he was chiseling and hitting and breaking, you were crying, you were shouting, so he dropped you. And he picked me and I allowed that. So then the, the marble tile says, but that was so painful. It, he was a horrible man. It was so painful. Naturally, I resisted that. So then the marble statue says, you resisted that. So you are a tile today. And I did not resist that. So I am where I am today. I am a statue. Because... To be able to transform, to be able to be, you know, sculpted, there is some pain. Okay? But finally, when you think about it, there is no pain. <laughs> but at that moment, you feel pain. Like right now, if you take up some project and we say, okay, 15 days, all of us will go somewhere, you will feel pain. But after the project is over, you will feel a lot of joy, a lot of joy. So, the initial pain is for a bigger gain. And there won't be gain like there won't be money, there won't be some you know, gift or some power or something. You will feel more powerful. So, like people go and stay in the ashram for one month. They leave their family for one month and go. They feel so powerful when they come back. But during that time, that pain you know, of separation is there. But then you also gain because somewhere you need to actually transform and be who you are. Right now imagine all the time we have some role, some role or the other. When are we going to drop the roles? No, no need to drop the roles. No need to drop the roles. But at least step back and see who is playing the role. There is only one actor. Okay, playing so many roles. So check at least who is the actor. Uska base kya hai? Check your own, do your own SWOT analysis. Check your strengths and weaknesses. Check, we, we rarely do that. We are so busy with the roles. It's like Amitabh Bachchan forgot he's Amitabh Bachchan. All the time he is, uh, whatever roles he played, you know. Hundreds of roles he has played. All the time he is in some role. And he forgot who he is. Are we in that state? In all these roles, did we forget actually base me who we are? We need to check. This is going to be contemplative and we need to think about all these things. Hmm? So what were the shlokas? Transcendently conscious. Okay. Why? Because there is Krishna there. It's going to be high vibration. Hmm? Then next comes all the list of people and the disheartened 
Kauravas. Okay. So do we have time? Ten minutes. Okay. So we'll take the uh, two, three more shlokas. Mm -hmm.